Praise Lord. Let us pray. Dear Lord, it is you who wanted all these holy scriptures to be written for us to learn. Therefore, with the help of your pa Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it is you who wanted to be written all these holy scriptures so that we may learn. In the same way, Lord, help us to understand through the power of your Holy Spirit and give us the wisdom to walk according to those instructions. Be with us and guide us. In the name of Jesus, I ask. Amen. Now let us read the book of 2 Kings from chapter 2. And it came to pass, when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind, that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets who were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets who were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yeah, I know it, hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee here, for the Lord hath sent me to the Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went, and stood to view afar off, and they too stood by the Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle, and wrapped it together, and smote the waters, and they were divided to the one side and to the other, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I am taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire, and separated them, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. And Elisha saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its horsemen, and he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and tore them into pieces. He took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted to the one side and to the other, and Elisha bent over. And when the sons of the prophets who were looking on the Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the ground before him. And they said unto him, Behold, now there are with thy servants fifty strong men. Let them go, we pray thee, and seek thy master. Yes, perhaps the spirit of the Lord had taken him up, and cast him upon some mountain, or into some valley. And he said, Ye shall not send. And when they urged him till he was ashamed, he said, Send. They sent therefore fifty men, and they saw three days, but found him not. And when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of the city is pleasant, as my Lord's seed, but the water is bad, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise, and put salt in it. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cast the salt in there, and said, Thus said the Lord, I will heal these waters, there shall not be from there any more death or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which he spoke. And he went up from there unto Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth youths out of the city, and mocked him, and said unto him, Go up, the bald head, go up, the bald head. And he turned back, and looked on them, and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came 
for two she bears out of the woods and two forty and two jutes of them and he went from there to mount carmel and from there he returned to samaria now let us read the book of hosea from chapter 9 rejoice not o israel for joy like other peoples for thou hast played the harlot from thy god thou hast loved a reward upon every threshing floor the floor and the wine press shall not feed them and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt, and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria. They shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord, neither shall they be pleasing unto him. Their sacrifices shall be unto them like the bread of mourners. All that eat of it shall be polluted, for their bread, for their soul, shall not come into the house of the Lord. What will ye do in the solemn day and in the day of the feast of the Lord? For lo, they are gone because of destruction. Egypt shall gather them up, Memphis shall bury them, and pleasant places for their silver, nettle shall possess them, thorns shall be in their tabernacles. The days of judgment are come, the days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it, the prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity and the great hatred. The watchman of Ephraim was with my God, but the prophet is a snare of a fowler in all his ways, and hatred in the house of his God. They have deeply corrupted themselves, as in the days of Gibeah, therefore he will remember their iniquity, he will judge their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as a first ripe in the fig tree at a first time, but they went to Baal Peor and separated themselves unto that shame, and their abominations were according as they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird, from the birth and from the womb, and from the conception. Though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave them, that there shall not be a man left. Yea, woe also to them when I depart from them. Ephraim, as I saw Tyre, is planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Give them, O Lord, what will thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breast. All their wickedness is in Gilgal, for there I hated them. For the wickedness of their doings, I will drive them out of mine house. I will love them no more. All their princes are revolters. Ephraim is smitten. Their root is dried up. They shall bear no fruit, yeah, though they bring forth, yet will I slay even the beloved fruit of their womb. My God will cast them away, because they did not hearken unto him, and they shall be wanderers among the nations. Amen. Now let us continue reading the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verses 24 to 27. And when they were come to Capernaum, they that received tribute money came to Peter, and said, Doth not your master pay tribute? He said, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Jesus spoke first to him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon, of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute, of their own sons or of strangers? Peter said unto him, Of strangers. Jesus said unto him, Then are the sons free? Notwithstanding, lest we should offend them, go thou to the sea, and cast in hook, and take up the fish that first cometh up. And when thou hast opened its mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money, that take and give unto them for me and thee. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all those words that you gave to us through your scriptures. As we read in 2 Kings, how you gave the anointing of Elijah to Elisha in double portion. In the same way, Lord, give us your anointing and your blessings and your wisdom in double fold. And how you avenge the people who were teasing Elisha but in the same way Lord do not avenge the people who tease and torment us but bless them so that they may know that you are the only living God be with us and protect us each and every day in the name of Jesus I ask Amen God bless you <laughs>